a double, pronto! And kid, you get me a cup of coffee worth a damn! Well, we got scooped again! Imagine my delight upon opening our distinguished competition's newspaper this morning and reading the following headline. Four H'ers learn about beekeeping. <laughs> How are we not on top of this? <laughs> it is our job, nay, it is our duty to report on the relevant news of the day. That is why we are the Mifflinburg Telegraph. And I will be damned if we are beaten to even one more time by the freaking times. The Union County Times. <laughs> and I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear the sob stories this time about how you were caught up in your other assignments or how I act like I'm the editor-in-chief of a much larger and much more important newspaper. <laughs> Last time I checked, we had the 17th highest circulation of any newspaper in central Pennsylvania. <laughs> Try shaking a stick at that. It would be somewhat hard to. <laughs> so, have you read it? Have you read 4 H'ers Learn About Beekeeping? You should. It's the talk of the goddamn town. <laughs> I'll read the lead. <laughs> On April 15th, three Union County 4-H groups met at the Brushy Mountain Bee Farm in New Columbia to learn about honeybees and beekeeping. Members of the Good Time, Lucky Clovers, and Outdoor Survivors 4-H clubs were met by Tia Mitch, who works at the company and owns several personal hives. <laughs> Now call me crazy, <laughs> but that is some staggering goddamn reporting. <laughs> and where was it? Page one, the front page, where it belongs. <laughs> now you tell me if they have a follow-up honey tasting next week, are we going to be caught with our dicks in our hands? <laughs> Landmark stories like middle school announces its students of the month. <laughs> Commissioners host cheese break. <laughs> Walters celebrate 60th wedding anniversary with an apostrophe in the word Walters. <laughs> that headline and that punctuation whipped our dozens of readers into a frenzy. <laughs> and you would do well to remember that. <laughs> We're not hungry anymore. Huh? We're not hungry. Let me ask you this. Do you even know that they are planning to open a Red Robin hamburger restaurant on Chestnut Street? <laughs> I will ask that again. Do you even know that the story of the fucking century is about to break? No, because you're not asking the right questions. You know who would answer the, ask the right questions? Woodward and Bernstein. And of course I mean Debbie Woodward and Trish Bernstein are retired food critics. Slash typesetters. <laughs> I'm afraid to even ask. I'm afraid to even ask what we are working on for the afternoon edition. Macmillan, get me that mock up of page one. Let me see that plate. You let me see that plate and you let me see it now. <laughs> Baby born on 416. At 4.16 a.m.? <laughs> Holy Christ, we're back. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, ladies and gentlemen, you keep up this level of fervent, essential reporting, and we might just win a Peabody's Bar and Grill gift certificate <laughs> from the Mifflinburg Chamber of Commerce. Now, get out there and let's save journalism! <laughs>